Good evening, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update on Wednesday, December 13th, 2017 at 1026 p.m. Mountain Time, U.S. There's an uptick in seismic activity on the San Andreas 4.3 west of Laytonville, followed by an immediate 2.5 in Elmira. There's motion along this fault. This is coming after six hours ago, a 4.0 in 12 kilometers south of Molala in Oregon. This is a an event unfolding. So we started with a 4.0. We went up to a 4.3 in Laytonville, and we just got a 2.5 further down. This motion is moving down the fault. It is now going to move back up the fault, and is what it did. It came up here to Talkeetna, and earthquakes are loading. So we're going to be watching this as we make the video. People are going to be rattled up in this area. Moving on. Arctic air plunges into the Great Lakes, northeast and mid-Atlantic. And this is a cold plunge down. Arctic air dropping to the northeast and the eastern U.S. And a storm off the east coast will bring periods of snow, very cold wind chills, and hazardous traveling from the upper Great Lakes to the northeast today, December 13th. Maximum temperatures will be 5.5 to 11 C, 10 to 20 Fahrenheit, below average along the East Coast Wednesday after the departure. This is causing uh, the cancellations of classes in Eastern Michigan. The latest, close to a foot of snow in some parts of Vermont. The latest winter storm dumping up to a foot of snow in northern New England. I'll leave you links to all of these. Winter Storm Abigail dropped several inches on northeast Wisconsin. 6.9 inches of snow fell on Green Bay Wednesday, breaking the record of 4.7 inches in 1909. Grand Solar Minimum much? That was the Glassberg Minimum. Which makes sense because... We're in the bottom here of cycle 24, which is equivalent to cycle 14 here in the Glassberg minimum, right at 1909. And we're in the exact same spot as cycle 14, cycle 24, when this record was broke. You're not going to see a meteorologist reporting on that, folks. Snowfall warning in effect for Windsor, Essex, Leamington, Chatham, Kent. Environment Canada expects at least 10 meters of snow today. Heads up, Canada. Dro uh, cosmic ray flux much in the Philippines. Tropical depression, Urduja, will become a tropical storm before it hits the Philippines. Now, luckily, the KP is uh, hanging tough at three. If there was geomagnetic energy here from co-rotating sectors from a... Corona whole stream, that would intensify the storm. We just learned that the other day, if you follow our channel. Explosion at Cleveland, volcano, ash to six kilometers. That's still below the stratospheric boundary, which is at 30,000 feet, but that's another hella eruption. The explosion produced an eruption cloud that was observed in satellite data to an altitude of six kilometers, moving to the east. There's where Cleveland is at the tip here. Lucians, boom. Agung, they have photos today as it settles of the uh, inner caldera. Just a small lava dome here. This is coming from the 12th of December yesterday. So there is more to come here. This is just um, the introduction. Yet another group of scientists just said, we are the ones screwing the weather. We have created a new climate. For the first time in six years, the Bulletin of American Idiots has published its annual extreme event report, and it found that certain events could not have happened without people. Yeah, like the Macarena and other dumb things, but certainly not global warming. And I'm sure 2017 is going to be the warmest year ever. 
However, the data is in. Thank you, Ice Age Farmer, for saving time and energy in deciphering the nonsense. I'm going to show you some of the most recent papers. Here we have decadal predictions of the North Atlantic subpolar gyre in high gem, high res climate model. I'll leave you links. These are full papers for you guys to just, oh man, love it. Now what's coming out of this paper are some amazing graphs. If you come down here, uh, what you're going to see is a time series here non-bias corrected and bias corrected it's very difficult to read here you can try to read it guys if you didn't if you don't have a phd i wouldn't recommend it you can peruse it skim it come down to the graphs and this is the data of the uh, northern hemisphere here and the temperatures and you can see the north atlantic multi-decadal oscillation in effect here the 60-year cycle of warming and cooling and you can see since 2006 the rapid decline in the temperatures in the northern hemisphere here and here those are the facts coming out of mainstream science this year just a few months ago and here it in this paper coming from Springer Link, subpolar mode water classes in the Northeast Atlantic, interannual and long-term variability. And we could just jump off from the abstract here. SPMW cores are revealed due to increased winter atmospheric circulation over the North Atlantic and decline of the Arctic ice cover. In 2010 and 2016, the potential temperature of the SP MW core in the Iceland basin dropped by 2.12 degrees C while its salinity decreased by nominal factor. And this is the whole paper for you guys. If you want to peruse it. I actually only think this is the first three pages. But so, global cooling due to the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation. Uh, with very obvious graphs showing a drop-off since 2005. Now, guys, there's a lag time between solar activity and temperature drop-off. And here you can clearly see if we just, here's 2005 and the drop-off in solar activity. I wonder what's causing the drop-off. I don't think it's man, and I'm pretty sure it's not CO2, but maybe the total solar irradiance and the watts per square meter that's emanating from the sun potentially could have something to do with this. And if you're a scientist, I'm sure you would agree with me that if the energy coming from the sun is reduced, then so shall the temperature. Now, this is uh, what is responsible for the recent decadal changes in the subpolar North Atlantic Ocean's heat content. Here's the heat content in the North Atlantic dropping off in the observed models. Here's the actual observed temperature drop starting in 2005 like we just watched in the last paper. You can look at all these papers. All the graphs match. And you know why they match, guys? It's amazing why they match. Because if you match it to the total solar irradiance of the sun, we're dropping off a cliff in energy boom boom and that's a boom and that's science and that's how you do it you go look at the data you go look at the most recent papers and they say that the earth is cooling in the northern hemisphere and if you go look in the rag papers in the mainstream media they will tell you that it's the hottest damn thing ever which is total nonsense Guys, I'm going to take you right over here to the Danish Meteorological Institute. Heads up! More science! Boom! It's going to blow your mind. <laughs> science is awesome. Here's the current surface mass budget of the Greenland ice sheet. This is the truth. This is not obfuscating the truth. These people have integrity. Here's 2017 yesterday here's the average from 1981 to 2010 yesterday and greenland is kicking buttocks there's so much ice all over the place here it's 
unmentionable. Epic ice in Greenland. Record. World record ice. The surface mass balance is calculated over a year. And if you come to the data, 2016 and 17 was a record year of ice growth on Greenland. And this year is matching pace as the second greatest year since 1981 of ice growth. And that is science. Boom! <laughs> How do you like them apples, mainstream media? You're lying to the public, and we're dropping off a cliff like the data shows. Now, if you come over to the U.S. at the NSIDC, they don't have any real data here. The only thing you can find about Greenland is something called at Greenland Ice Sheet Today. This is how embarrassing we are. The Greenland melt extent. It means nothing. There's just this big, it looks like a heartbeat. Beep, beep, beep. There's some other graphs behind it. There's a lot of dark red. It's melting. Oh my God. Here, look at surface melt. Missing ice. Number of melt days. Uh, melty, melt, melt. It's, oh, surface, it's melting. He's, I'm melting. I'm melting. Uh. Idiots. I'll leave you links to the Danish Meteorological Institute because um, that is where science is done. And it's quite obvious. Boom! <laughs> That the last two years are record-breaking years based on data, not on nonsense. Surface melt. <laughs> I'm erasing that. See ya. Guys, here's the space weather update. Solar minimum, there is a little bit of activity in the B1 range, and uh, which means nothing. The K index is moderate. There is no psychic activity. Uh, but because of those little flares, we're staying up in moderate range here, which is good for cardiac people, and it's good because we're not charging that storm. Orduja, that's about to hit the Philippines, and it is going to increase because we are at a high cosmic ray flux period, and for the next three years, cosmic rays will increase to epic proportions, and that is the facts based on, boom, science. I'm going to leave you with some awesome photographs here. This link by the Atlantic 2017, the year in volcanic activity. And these are some gorgeous photos. Oh, look at that. This is Shivalush. We'll come back here. This is Cinnabong. I mean, there's hundreds of amazing high definition pictures here that can just make you appreciate what is coming. The beauty and the splendor of Mother Nature. Now, guys, one of our, our uh, subscribers. And commenters, you might know him as Master Shannon down here, has remote viewed um, a map of the safe zones of the United States to 2020. And what he has been told is that the areas in green are extremely safe and it's where the 11 states, according to his words, will be rebuilding and uh, reworking. Here's uh, an area in Alaska of safety. Above the blue line by 2020 will be crop failure city. This will be tropical storm tsunami risk area. And if there's a large quake here anywhere along the Mississippi, think of the tens of thousands of chemical and oil rupture lines that will dump in this area and pollute this entire region indefinitely.
And this green area extends down into Mexico here. And according to Hopi legend, the legend of the Rainbow Warrior, the new earth will be built in the Four Corners region during the sixth sun. If you follow spiritual teachings or if you're looking for answers, you can uh, subscribe to Master Ch Shannon's channel where he is doing spiritual teachings, I'm sure, at Master Agnang. And he's going to be sharing that video here on his channel. So if you want to get that access to this video where he describes what he has seen, uh, give him a sub here. Subscribe here to Master Aganam. And you'll get this video. <coughs> Boom! Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. The Greenland ice sheet is at, is at record levels. Do not let them scare you into the earth burning up. We are descending into the grand solar minimum based on science. We do not fear monger here. We, we prepare because it's better to be prepared than to be scared. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance during a catastrophe. Heads up. Subscribe to our channel. Share this with like-minded people. We love you. Thanks to our Patreons. We're going to be hooking you up with a live stream in a few days and look in your mailbox for a special Christmas gift. Thank you for helping us out. Peace out.